All right, hey, what's up? So today we're gonna to be doing some plumbing. Um, we're gonna be putting in a pedestal sink over here in this bathroom. It's a small bathroom, so it's gonna be a corner pedestal sink. It's gonna be right there. And in this corner, it's gonna be a toilet and it's gonna to be a corner toilet as well. Just so both are kind of angled out and you'll have enough room for both in this one small little bathroom. Um, in order to do this, we need to put our supply lines way in the corner. Same with our drain line has to be right here in the corner so that you won't see it behind the, the base of the pedestal. I'll show you how this is going to be done. Okay, we have here our Santee. This is a two inch by two inch and coming out this way is just an inch and a half. This is where from the sink, it's going to drain in this way and then down. This top part is for your vent so that the water can flow real fast. So. What's gonna happen is the vent's gonna go up the wall here, the drain's gonna go down here, and the sink's gonna, the water's gonna flow in through here. So in order to do this, I have to run two inch ABS pipe down through here, through a hole through the, through the wall here, and then down underneath and connect, and I'll show you how that's gonna work. So from over here where the sandy is going to be, we're going to need to run this two inch ABS line down through here. I'm just going to show you guys what I got to do here. I got to connect into that line there, which is a two inch ABS. And it goes over here, I'll show you from a different angle. And uh, connects in over here to this four inch line that the toilet's connected to. So what we're gonna have to do is cut this here and add in a, uh, a T that'll allow us to sweep into that. So. Now the way we're gonna achieve that is by using this piece here, which it's, it has a two inch sweep this way, two inch sweep this way, and it has this, which we're not even gonna be using, but at my Home Depot, I couldn't find a piece that just had this without this. So what we'll do is we'll just put a cap on the end. Could use a cap, or in this case, I got this where it's kind of, it's a clean out. So you'll be able to unscrew this, and if you wanted to, you could snake it from here, um, which will be kind of nice to have. So underneath the house there, we'll cut that pipe that I just showed you and we'll be installing this in there. And then the new sink will be able to drain in this way and it'll be able to connect the same way. Right now I'm just going to dry fit everything together. I have a lot of turns down below, a lot of 90s and all that stuff, so we'll just dry fit it, make sure everything hooks up right, and then I'll take it apart and glue it all together. Okay, now normally when you're running your vent pipe up, if you can, the best thing to do is to run it all the way up out of the roof, 
Um, but since this is only this drain line is only going to be for this one sink, and there's another, you know, this is a two-story house. There, this is the first floor, um, so there's a lot of obstructions and obstacles to get this all the way up and through the roof. So there is another alternative, which is to use something like this, which is a, which is a vent, which is a, it's called sure vent, eliminate the vent pipe. So how this works is it's basically uh, this filter and it screws onto here. And you'd obviously take this plastic wrap off first. <clears throat> And then this would slide on to like your two inch ABS pipe. Okay, so it would go on to there. Now, this whole pipe would connect on to the top of the Santee here. And now you're just venting it through the wall, which works well if it's like only at one sink, you know? Obviously, the best thing to do is to run it all the way through the roof, but this will work under certain situations. So. There it is, it's recording now. <laughs> Just take this off. All right, so of course you're gonna need your ABS glue. Otherwise known as pipe dough. You want to hold it in place for about 10 seconds so it doesn't push out on you. And just remember to hold it there for that 10 seconds because what? it'll push out. It tends to want to slide out on oh. its own.
all the freaks and ghouls. Okay, so this is the last piece from here to here. Once we have that, the whole thing's connected. We'll just have to actually, everything from here back I've already glued. From here up to the vent, we, we still need to glue it, but it'll all be cut and fitted and ready to go. So we'll put this piece in, it's a five and a half inch piece. We'll glue that in, and then uh, we'll take everything apart from here up to the vent and glue that all together. And it'll be done. Okay, so now we're back up at, top, at the top and we can take the Santi and the vent and all this apart and uh, glue it together. So let's go ahead and do that. Take this vent off. all apart. Just glue it together.
this morning. I'll leave this here for you. It's a it's a drink. All right. The Arizona watermelon. Alright, so the only thing left is to put this vent on. I just gotta take this plastic off here. Just make sure we take out those little styrofoam things in there so that it can breathe real well. Now when you're doing this type of vent with that filter on the end and you're not going through the roof, it has to be by code at least four inches above the Santee. So we went well above that. You could even go higher, but we have an obstruction right there at about three feet higher. So we'll just stop it there. But this is done. I'll show you what we've done here. down here remember how this was before We've now connected in this new T here and and it's now ready for the uh, the sink so hope this video helped you guys um, we're gonna make tons more videos a few a week uh, we do everything from the ground up so subscribe and learn something